representatives from the science granting councils, research institutions, and development partners. Ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all gathered here today. It is a great honor for me as the CEO of the NEPAD agency and my team to be part of the 2016 Global Research Council meeting and the Science Granting Council's Initiative Learning Forum being held here in Maputo, a city with a unique and rich history. I may not be with you here physically, but with the help of technology, I'm able to add my voice and that of the NEPAD agency through this video message. I wish to begin by stating that the Science Granting Council initiative was designed to build the capacity of Science Granting Council in Africa. It started as a pilot project with 13 initial countries. The initiative was set up to effectively deal with four main issues identified as weaknesses in most science granting councils in Africa. These include, but not limited to, the ability of science granting council to do the following. One, manage research. Two, design and monitor research programs and formulate research policies based on robust indicators. Three, support knowledge exchange within national, regional, and international science, technology, and innovation systems. Four, establish partnerships with all sectors in a national system of innovation. Hence, the Science Granting Council's initiative prioritizes these four aspects and shall work collaboratively with different partners and stakeholders to provide technical support and training to strengthen the capacity of the Science Granting Council in Africa in these areas of weakness. The Science Granting Council initiative has come at the most opportune time. Why do I say this? Some of you may ask. The answer is twofold. Firstly, the NEPAD agency, African Observatory of, for Science and Technology, AOST, and partners have been implementing the African Science, Technology, and Innovation Indicators Initiative for the past nine years. We started with 19 African Union member states participating in research and development and 11 on innovation service. I am proud to share with you today that the number of participating countries has risen to 40 out of the 54 member states. Secondly, the 10-year phased Science, Technology and Innovation Strategy for Africa, STISA 2024, the predecessor to Africa's Science and Technology Consolidated Plan of Action, CPA, was approved by the African Union Assembly of Heads of States and Government in June 2014. STISA 2024 is aimed at accelerating the transition of African countries into innovation-led, knowledge-based economies, knowledge-based economies. This strategy calls for an end to anger, health and well-being of all African citizens, a well-connected continent in terms of communication, road, rail, and air links, full utilization and protection of our environment, including outer space, creating better communities, and finally, creating and equitably distributing wealth to all African citizens. This strategy is evidently linked to many other important frameworks and policies in Africa, such as CADEP in agriculture, AIDA in industrialization, AMRH in medicine, Africa space policy, etc. The African Science, Technology, and Innovation Indicators Program, through its knowledge products, namely the African Innovation Outlook 2010 and 2014 has provided us with a picture of how knowledge is generated by our different national S and T systems. More importantly, we now understand how part of this knowledge and technologies is used by different entities to produce goods and services. The Science and Granting Council's initiative is a great opportunity, 
but is aiming at strengthening Africa's innovation ecosystems. Therefore, this initiative shall provide a platform from which NEPAD agency, the African Union Commission, regional economic communities, national governments and science granting councils will develop a shared understanding of research infrastructures. The NEPAD agency sees the science granting councils initiative as the vehicle for applying the knowledge and insights from the ASTI program on science, technology, and innovation indicators to design interventions that contribute to addressing our priorities within STISA 2024. Lastly, and most importantly, I would like to thank the development partners, namely the International Development Research Center, IDRC of Canada, Department for International Development, DFID of the United Kingdom, and National Research Foundation of South Africa for the financial support they are providing to the Science Granting Council initiative. On behalf of the African Union and NEPAD agency, I'm looking forward to the Science Granting Council's initiative being one of the African Union flagship programs and the STISA 2024. I thank you and wish you the best during your deliberations.